And Matt Eisman is going to show us how we can barbecue these beautiful yeah. steaks that you're going to prepare for us. I'm just trying to be up here and look right, manly Jeff, right you now. You are looking manly. This is, man, this I've is got like beautiful. barbecue smoke coming on. Paige, wait, I can't wait to see how this is made. I'm actually oh, going to put the, the apron on here. Like I'm, wow. I'm going into surgery now. Would you now. say you are grilling and chilling right well, now? Well, I'm grilling right now, and you guys are going to be chilling when you're eating. Wait, here, let me okay, help. I need help. Here, this, come on, I like oh, that apron. Don't let Gary Marshall see my, me having trouble with this. <laughs> oh, I can't. Oh, don't. Are you calling me fat? <laughs> Sorry, I'm Kim Douglas. Like Ken okay. actually made it, so. All right, so what we're doing, you know, everybody's got a favorite steak. Will you guys, I mean, what's your favorite uh, cut? Can we do uh, Filet. 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 Oh. Filet. Scotty, you have a favorite steak? I, I wish I even knew what right. the yeah. different words were. I don't <laughs> that off. Well, just say delicious because. Delicious. We're putting it back there. Because oh, it's yeah. it. So my favorite steak is the ribeye. It's oh, the best. No. We've got actually, people always wonder where it comes from. We can see we got a little diagram that we're going to pull up here. You can see it literally comes from the ribs of the cow and the reason that it's the best cut for me it's the most flavorful because it's got the most fat so if you think about it when you look at the cow that's the area that exercises the least so that's why it's the fattiest and fat equals flavor ribeye actually comes from it's where the ribeye when you'd pull the rib out that would be the hole created by the bone was the rib eye so we've actually got a bone in here which we call the cowboy cut um, you can do either we're doing it without the bone in here this is just pure delicious marbled meat so but I, my secret is the rub so I've got chili powder the, the full recipe is going to be on the website here for all the ingredients espresso I love espresso. a little kick I, you know what? Yeah. I tried it first at this restaurant and I love the hint of like that coffee the little bite brown sugar oh. I love the brown sugar because you get a little caramelization on it paprika Amazing. onion powder it's so much easier when it's pre-measured by the way you look like an expert <laughs> we got mustard coriander and of course Salt and peppers here, and now they're in effect. Um, <laughs> Are they bad? No one, no one got my salt and pepper it. reference. I loved it. I got it. Uh, there we go. Oh, wow, that was unbelievably quick. <laughs> I love it. So you just stir this blend up here, and then to put it on the steak. Now, meanwhile, you've taken your steak out of the fridge or the freezer, wherever you want it to be at room temperature for at least half an hour. And the reason is, if you put it on the grill um, when it's just been refrigerated, it's not going to cook. The center is going to be too cold. So just a little olive oil on it mm. on both sides here, um, and that helps the rub to stay on. And just you just get it in. I like to really just get that rub in there. Do you have to leave the rub on for a while? Yeah, typically we would. Um, you'd let it settle. I, I do a good five or ten minutes. So again, you know, time this out. You want it to be about half an hour um, that the steak has been out. But How do you getting... like your steak? The thickness of it, like an inch and a half? Yeah. Yep. Around that, I mean, the thicker cut, the better, but it can be a little, a little more difficult to cook evenly. So, um, you know, most of the time when you go to the store, you're going to get an inch, an inch to a quarter around there. Okay. Uh, especially for a ribeye, it's a good thick cut, and you want it medium rare. That's the way you do it. If anyone says well, go, okay, that's exactly what you're getting, and serve a medium rare, because you know better. <laughs> <laughs> so what we've done is we've preheated the grill. It's on high. Now the secret to it is in the cooking. I'm laying it down here. Now we are going to accelerate this. Really you want to cook the steak for about six minutes total and the key is to do it is to rotate it. So every so often about three times on each side you're going to rotate it 90 degrees. Obviously this is a little premature here but you you'd do, rotate it. How long it. before you do it? Well how hot does your grill have to be though? Does it be super hot? Super hot. Super hot before yeah. you put your meat on. Before you put your meat on the grill you want it to be super hot. You're going to turn it about 45 degrees every two minutes or so. And what you're doing is you're getting the cross hatching. You love those grill marks on it. Get a little more evenly cooked. We put a little spray on here as well. So initially the steak might stick, but as it gets going, especially once it caramelizes that sugar, Listen to it's going to pull Chef, right off. Dr. Of Chef. I, this is, I listen, I'm not I great know. in the kitchen, really but like do. Kim, I've got a few specialties. There you go. Grilling is my Grilling. thing. I love a good rub on it. You can go with salt and pepper, honestly, if it's a great yeah. cut. But I do like the brown sugar, especially with the coffee. So you just rotate it. Keep rotating. Yeah, Again, yeah, this is rolling. this is a little accelerated here. Um, you'd rotate it. Cooking time is about six, no more than eight minutes, and then take it off. Put it on the upper part of the grill for or to the side that hasn't you haven't had the burners on for indirect heat. You always let it cook for another about four to five minutes, mm. and that's just continuing to get that heat on the inside of the steak. So we'll just close this and. Ta-da! Oh, very nice. Very this nice. is it. And you guys, 
I mean, delicious. I can tell. It is so good. Delicious. Even Kim Douglas I'm is eating, eating steak I right know. now. I know. I really love it. Man, <laughs> it's it is so good. So good. How Which is why I love it. How is it to let it sit, though, before you cut it? So you do. The reason, you'll let it sit for a good five minutes after you pull it off the grill. Why? If you cut into it immediately, you're going to let all the juices come out. Otherwise, the uh -huh. juices settle back into the meat. It gives you that really juicy, with a flavor explosion in your mouth. Oh, my God. That's a good ribeye right with there. All the secrets, man. Yeah, I, I had I don't no have idea. Utensils. You're amazing. I'm quite impressed, Dr. Meat. Do you want to buy it? It is. I'm stealing. No. Do I want? Here. No. <laughs> this is so good. I'm, 